In a past video, I tried out the Room Sketch app, which was added into New Horizons with the Happy Home Paradise DLC. It's basically an app on your Nook phone that allows you to design and decorate a room on the go. I think its intended use is to use it as a template for your Happy Home Paradise vacation homes. When you talk to a villager in Happy Home Paradise and start working on their vacation home, you can open up the Room Sketch app while you're inside of their house. And then you can use the room that you designed in the Room Sketch app as like a template or you could just like plop it down right inside of their vacation home and boom I guess you have a finished vacation home you get to use all the furniture from happy home paradise and decorate freely it's really great honestly someone had suggested that I use the app to plan out some of the rooms in my own house which was like a great idea I find it so hard to decorate my home in New Horizons personally because you have to like actually get the items before you can even start decorating. It could be so boring snooze fest trying to like collect all of the items to decorate your house with. I don't, I don't love doing that. It feels like a waste of time. If you'd like to see how I decorated my living room with the Room Sketch app in a previous video, I will go ahead and link that down below. But today, I would like to conquer a kitchen and dining room combo in the upstairs room in my house. The idea of trying to put this room together has been haunting me, so I'm excited to do a trial run in the room sketch app, and then maybe later, if I really like the design, I will go ahead and get the items and just swap them down in my actual upstairs. All right, I'm booting it up. Let's see what we can make happen. Perfect, a nice, beautiful, empty template. I believe for the room size, it is a 10 by six room. I tried to count to the best of my ability. <laughs> if it's slightly off, I think I will live. First things first, I would like to pick out a wallpaper and flooring, which I like to do off camera because it takes me 20 million years. So I'll get back to you in just a couple seconds. Do not be alarmed. This is just experimental at the moment. I would really like for this blue wall right here to be an accent wall, kind of like backsplash because it's tile. And then I have um, the window wall as my main wall. I absolutely adore it. It's to die for. Green flooring? It's a maybe. It's a maybe. I really want to experiment with using some of the rugs that are like wood or tile or brick for in, underneath the kitchen part. And so I don't think the entire room is going to be green flooring. It, things are subject to change though. If I change my mind, don't be mad at me. I suppose a great place to start would be to put kitchen items out. Now I'm the number one hater of the counters. So tall wooden island counter, low wooden island counter, both of them are not the right size for anything in this game. I typically avoid using them. However, I have taken some tips and tricks from people that are really good at interiors to maybe think about making it into like an island situation. I don't know, I just was really blown away by a collab I did recently where we did an interior and everybody else was making the counters work. And meanwhile, I'm sitting over here complaining about the counter height and being like a total loser, not using them. They really did look great. And it, they do look ridiculous when you have a villager or your character standing next to them. One's far too tall, one's far too small. It is what it is. So kind of unconventional here, but I'm gonna try to use this little low board item. I think this is called the Nordic low board. I'm gonna try to use that as a counter. I don't know why it's speaking to me right now. I think it looks really good. <laughs> if not, I was thinking about using this actual counter item and then maybe changing everything's color around not sure how I feel yet. She could maybe work. She could maybe work. Something I talked about was experimenting with some of these rugs that are like red brick, dark stones. I'm gonna look at these and see if there's anything that really pops out that we could use. Here's our two options that really stuck out to me initially was the light and the natural wood. Now I'm trying to like see which one I like with the wood tone better because I, I do enjoy a good wood tone. I don't know. To me, I think that this natural one is gonna look the best. We're gonna try her out. Yeah, let's see how it goes. I don't know which orientation I wanna do it. Shoot. It's just so frustrating because you gotta place them one at a time, but hey, at least these ones are bigger. Okay, option one and option two. Why do they look so like separate? Both ways I am unhappy. There is also this one that is individual squares. That kind of looks interesting how they're all mix matched. Oh God, I don't know. This is, <laughs> this is already a really tough decision. Okay, curveball to Tommy Matt. Jeez, this is tough. <laughs> no, 
No, no. I'm gonna play around. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> okay, I think I found something. Personally, I, I like this. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the flooring anymore. I, I'm willing to ignore her for now, but I really like how this looks. I think this is really interesting. This one is the light square tile. I have them kind of oriented a little funky. Oh, shoot. I'm just rotating stuff at this point. Let's try the counter and column thing. Please, God, just go well for me. This is far too much wood. I can just already tell at this point. I don't know where I'm supposed to place the column, but right there seems to be working just fine. Another option is to maybe do a tile flooring and then move all of these to the dining room side. Oh, geez. Let's see if maybe that would look better because I, I mean, I love the wood tones in the kitchen. It's just, it's far too much, isn't it? Just for experiment's sake, let's say that this is the tile and then we move all of this flooring to this side. Ah, oh, yeah. And we have the dining room on here. Boom. Get rid of all of this junk. Huh? Do we like it? I don't know if I want to do a funky tile or not. Maybe just like one right there in the middle. I'm going to stop overthinking. <laughs> so maybe playing with color a little bit. What we could do is change the, the, the tiles, the columns, pillars. Oh my God, is this really yellow? That does not look yellow at all. Why do I kind of like her? She's a strange color. I, I'm not thinking yellow when I'm looking at that, but yeah, sure. Let's just, let's take her. Could we do some fun bar stools? I love a good box shaped seat but it's just too much wood. It's no. These white ones kind of look like little marshmallows. Now, why do I want to make the columns like pink or something? Ooh, okay, wait, actually, I don't, I don't even know what's happening anymore. We're just gonna accept it. <laughs> now, what can I do to maybe make the kitchen feel a little more cluttery and maybe just like a little bit more fun? I'm, there's a lack of fun happening in the kitchen. The walls are a little bit cluttery back there, but I like it. Adore the idea of using this pink mixer. Eee! Little smoothie time. I'm always down for smoothie time, baby. Okay, yeah, screw appliances. We are a cute smiley face bread and mixer household here. I kind of love the idea of having just a little tiny organizer with maybe like a little rice cooker on top. It's not so um, perfectly symmetrical anymore, but that's okay. That is something that I am perfectly fine with and accepting of. I am actually having a lot of confidence with how the kitchen looks. <laughs> no idea how to tie this in though with a whole dining room like that's a lot to think about don't you think i decided to go with this nordic table with a pattern that i'm currently using for picnic blankets outside but i'm kind of at a loss of what chairs i would like to use the nordic ones would be fine but are they good maybe we could do a green chair eee, i don't know it's we're mix matching quite a bit with colors but oh my god no i kind of i actually hate it all right hate to be basic but i think i'm just gonna stick with white here. Okay, nice. What else do I need? I wanna put stuff back here. You know, like a buffet table or something. Japanese dresser. Now what? Plant, <laughs> yep, plant. That's always a good go-to. For Scythia, or like for Slathia. You know what I just realized we don't even have in our kitchen is, um, gosh, this is embarrassing. We don't have a, a refrigerator. Okay, yellow fridge, kinda left field, but stick with me here. I'm thinking that there's like far too many wood tones. Can we make everything white? I'm gonna make it all white and get back to you. Actually, I'm not making it white. I'm changing the colors of everything. <laughs> Why did I ever have any doubts in myself? Couldn't tell ya. Okay, this only, the only variant here is natural wood, but would it just look better being natural wood? Not sure. Let's sit on that for a little bit. But so far, oh my, that is so much better. What was I doing before? Whatever it was, it was not productive. Back to the dining room. A tea set, yup, a tea set on the thingy. Now, what else do I do here? I could do a plant on either side. This is a toughie, I'm not sure. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be in like the most random items ever section. <laughs> I don't know, It's nothing's really speaking to me. I'm not hating the idea of there being a divider. A little extra privacy. Don't know who's peering in from the upstairs window, but weirder things have happened. I changed the color of the screen and I kind of like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her be. And we'll have to maybe revisit this side in a second. I like to swap over from one side to the other because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> okay, you know who I've seen do this is um, Katie on Calico. I saw her do this and I'm like, oh, you genius. So I'm gonna put this in my bar. The bar is questionable at the moment though. I would really like to 
A, compact it a bit, but B, change change the counters. Oh, I know, I know, I'm just, I'm doing too much. I really am. But the pillars and the counters are not really doing anything for me. Does that look a little goofy? Yes. Uh, <laughs> we do this oh god then it's just it's so cramped and the bar is way too long oof you know what this is something i'm gonna sit and experiment with for a second i'll come back to you you're gonna think i'm truly unhinged but i i move some things around okay <laughs> first off all right i moved the bar thing the kitchen island to this side and then i added a little medicine cabinet here yes this is a medicine cabinet and i you know what frankly i think that she works she's kind of like a little cabinet i guess the flooring please don't ask me about the flooring we're actually gonna ignore her completely like i don't hate it i really don't but i just i'm i'm suffering i truly am i don't know what looks good anymore not gonna lie not sure if i love the medicine cabinet leave me alone something that has been plaguing me is the flooring i don't know what I want to do. I hate them all. I hate them, hate them, hate them. I think that this floral one was the best contender. I think what's really throwing me off too is this extremely bright white medicine cabinet. Jeez. You ever do this while you're building? Like constantly go back and forth? That's all I do. That's all I know how to do. Okay, we might be onto something with this cute little organizer. Actually, I think we are onto something with this cute little organizer. She's gotta work. I, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Oh, cherry blossom branches. If you were not the most giant item in the world for some reason, I would use you a lot more. If I could just put you right there, BB move object style, I would be one happy lady. But instead, I will do the sh What? <laughs> okay, people, lots going on here now. Why does it just look so damn weird? Maybe it needs to- yeah. Yeah, actually. Coconut planter, you are officially getting moved. Personally, I- I think that this works. <laughs> Let me know what you would do differently. I have a feeling a lot of you would do a lot of things very differently. I like to keep it fun and I like to do lots of color. So that's something I tried to do in here. Okay, for some reason the orange rug really pulled it all together. <laughs> Don't know why I, it's an impulse decision, but it's a decision that I, I am fond of. I did give it a pretty good shot here. And the more that I mess with it, the more like all over the place I feel. It's not perfect. It's not exactly what I want in, my house but that's the point i think of experimenting and trying new things is you know that i am actually experimenting and trying new things i think we nailed the kitchen like to be honest this whole kitchen area i like love it not sure how i'm feeling about like the dining area you know it seems to be clashing i also think that there's other ways that we could incorporate maybe like more color and a little bit of a different vibe on this side there's tons of things we could do like play with the wallpaper and flooring even more for instance um, I'm about to go off the deep end here and try something that I've been sort of thinking about. Okay, there's the green honeycomb tile. How about a peach wall? Whoa, girl, that's a lot. Oh, aqua tile's amazing. There's just so many options. Okay, I mean, even look at that. You know, this is totally an option with the pink and the the wood kind of go in a different direction. I'm gonna have to really sit down and think about what I've done. <laughs> How do you guys decorate? I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing. The more I look at it, actually, the more I hate it. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta step away. I gotta step away. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that very fun, experimental, colorful trial run of my upstairs kitchen and dining room. I. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm frankly, I'm just excited to get my island done. This is going to be the last video before I put out an island tour. I literally have like one more thing that I have to do before my island's done, minus the interior of the house. We don't talk about the interior of the house, but everything is done. And I'm even proud to say that I kind of maybe tried on my beaches. Great things are happening. I hope you're excited. I hope you're loving cherry blossom season. If you'd like to come hang out with us on Twitch, please feel free. And as well as my other socials are down below. And again, if if you'd like to see me decorate with the room sketch app, um, I do have another video where I try a living room, which turned out better, to be honest, than this one. I don't know, why am I being such a hater on myself? I gotta stop. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one for my island tour. <laughs>